In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you how I saved money on my electric bill because I drive an electric vehicle. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome to another episode of Double J's List. If you get a chance, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Hit the like button too, that'd be great. But today I'm going to explain to you how I saved money on my electric bill because I have an electric vehicle. Here in Western New York, there are a few companies that deliver electricity to your home. Typically, it's not your choice. It's something that is delivered to your home via, this is the electric company that works with power lines by your house. In my case, we use New York State Electric and Gas, otherwise known as NYSEG. On their website, I found a link, and I'm going to post it below, that allows you to apply for a discounted rate because you have an electric vehicle. Uh, the first part of that rate is they come to your home and install a day-night meter. So what they call a day-night meter. So what it does is it measures the amount of electricity during the daytime, and then it uses a separate meter to measure the amount of electricity you use during the nighttime. The cutoff time is 11.30 at night, and then at seven in the morning, it goes back to the day meter. So my electric rate previous to getting this meter installed was around 13 cents a kilowatt hour. Now, uh, with this meter installed, they, uh, they adapt the rate, and what you have to do uh, is, on their website, there's an email address that you have to send a copy of your vehicle registration to them so that way they can make the determination that you indeed do have an electric vehicle. I ran into a couple little hiccups with NYSEG because apparently I'm not the registered person on the account despite my name being on the envelopes that are addressed to us. It was my wife for whatever reason. Maybe she called to make the account when we moved into this house. I can't remember. It's been a long time. So I wound up having to have my wife send the email from her email account. They understood that, and then they finally said, okay, we're going to go ahead and send you uh, send, send out this uh, meter. Man showed up at the house one day. They don't really tell you when. I think I got like an email like the day before saying they were going to come out. And uh, he knocked on the door, said that your power is going to go out for about 30 seconds while he switches the meter. Uh, what he replaced was that old electric meter that has needles and what looks like a turntable spinning around it. It was probably original to the house in 1979. And what they replaced it with is this digital meter. And you can kind of see it cycling. There's a glare there, but you can see it cycling between its day and night modes and what seems to be like a default. But from what I understand, it is measuring the amount that I use during the day, charging me the rate of about 11 cents per kilowatt hour, which is less than what I was paying overall before anyway, and it charges me only about six cents per kilowatt hour at night. So compared to the 13 cents I was paying before, huge discount. It's already really inexpensive to run an EV on a normal rate. And here in Western New York, since we're near so much renewable energy, it winds up with the 13 cents a kilowatt hour, from what I understand, is pretty low compared to other parts of the United States. Put some comments down below us let me know if, if that's true or not but either way now i'm only paying six cents a kilowatt hour when i charge it at night and you can set your chevy bolt and probably a lot of other electric vehicles to charge automatically at night to take advantage of these low rates and uh, we're going to go take a look how i'm going to show you so stay tuned we're going to go and sit inside the car and i'll show you how i set it up okay well, we're in the bolt now and i'm going to show you how to set this up so the car will automatically start to charge no matter what time you plug it in to take advantage of your energy provider's discounted rate at a certain time. So we're gonna start off here on our home screen. The first thing you can do is you hit the energy button. You can either hit it at this bottom shortcut here or on the actual button here. You're gonna go ahead and press the charging button and then you go to charging options and here's where you're going to go ahead and scroll down you see delayed charging you press that and turn it on here you can set it up to say that I always need to be fully charged by a certain time I set it for 6 a.m. so that way no matter what in the morning my car's ready to go 
it will actually cause it, I believe, to start charging before the discounted rate if it knows it needs that time based on your home charger's amperage rating. My amperage rating is 40 amp, so I don't think, I, my battery would have to be very, very low in order to have to start before that. So I don't think that really matters too much, but just in case, the car can figure that out for you. Make sure you have a full charge when you're leaving the house. Next, you need to go to utility rate charging. You turn it on. You can do the different settings. I found that this peak, mid peak, and off peak seems to work for what I'm trying to do. Uh, you can set the charge completion to earliest possible or latest possible. I like to get it done as soon as possible. As soon as that cheap rate comes on, start charging. So that way you can always leave if you need to in the middle of the night or whatever. You have the most battery uh, at the earliest opportunity. That seems to make sense for me. And now you can change your, 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 so, okay. Some electricity providers have different times to use that rate for the, the, the like the, some, some energy providers will actually say, okay, in the winter time, we'll start it earlier or later or whatever it may be. According to NYSEG on the website that I posted, they don't do that. It's the same times year round. So I set it to yearly. Then after that, you go down to the weekday schedule and you can tell it during on the weekdays that you need it to start. And, and the only way I got this to work is because mine starts technically at 1130 at night and then that's its own day and then it has to go to 12 a.m. So I got it set at 1130 to 12 a.m. I got it set for off peak and then from 12 a.m. to 7 a.m. also off peak. So it starts typically at 1130. It'll start charging itself if I'm plugged in. And then it knows that it needs to be done by 7 uh, or earlier. To, so we're not paying extra for the, uh, for the rate. So you click on each one and you can manipulate it in certain ways. You can figure that out on your own for whatever your company's is. And then after that, you're all done. You just go ahead and go back to your home screen. And that's it. So you know when your vehicle is set up because if you just got a bolt you know when you plug in your your power charger it takes a couple seconds and then it does one beep outside the car to let you know that it's charging and then there's no errors or anything like that when you plug it in and you're using this delayed charging feature instead of one beep you get two beeps and that's letting you know hey it's ready to go and it's going to start charging when you told it to start charging it's pretty neat so you know that the, the system then is working so honestly, it's not that complicated and I'm spending even less now to drive this car than I was before. So at six cents a kilowatt hour, I go about averaging according to the, actually I can talk, show it right now. Energy wise, my history. So since the last charge, I've been getting 4.4 miles per kilowatt hour. Typically, I'm only getting like 3.3 .3 overall for the, the life of the car since I've had it with the uh, 4,200 miles that we've got on it now. So let's just call it three miles per kilowatt hour. And that means for six cents, I'm going three miles. That's incredibly cheap compared to what gasoline costs. Even if you've got a car that's getting like 40, 50 miles per gallon, this is a fraction of that. So what a deal. Awesome. So if you like this, please subscribe. I appreciate it. I know a lot of people like the Bolt content, so I'll try to get more Bolt content out. Uh, and hit the like button, and thank you for watching.